Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Joseph Quiglis was born in 1775 on the Spanish island of Mallorca, being baptized in Santa Eulalia Church in Palma. By 1806, Quiglis had become a prosperous merchant and landowner in Natchez, purchasing a plantation from Joseph Tejada, which he named Mallorca. He married Mary Gonzalez in 1799, but on March the 1st, 1808, it was recorded that the Fourth General Assembly of the Mississippi Territory granted him a divorce. It seems that in 1805, Quiglis had filed a complaint with the Marshal of Natchez, calling for the imprisonment of Joseph Tejada and suing him for depriving him of the comfort and society and happiness of his wife. After the divorce was granted, the former Mrs. Quiglis married Tejada. Joseph Quiglis seems to eventually found happiness in the arms of Louisa Melanie Adam of New Orleans, with whom he had seven children, including a daughter who married Louis Emile Profile, the accomplished silversmith. Quiglis employed the artist John James Audubon to teach his children drawing, music, and French. Audubon lived in the dependency of the house Quiglis owned on Washington Street. Quiglis died a wealthy man and left behind an interesting provision in his will. It seems as if there was some question as to whether or not a woman named Anne Costanz was his daughter or the daughter of Joseph Tejada. Quiglis stated that if the woman could prove she was indeed his child, he would leave her $50. If not, she was to have no part of his estate. Quiglis died on this day, August 1st, in 1830, and is buried in the old Catholic section of the Natchez Cemetery. I am Mary Jane Reed Godet, the great, great, great granddaughter of Joseph Quiglis, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.